This is Jordan here from 3D Focus TV here at MIPCOM and I'm joined with Paul Verhoeven who is, at least little introduction, major director and the reason he is here is to uh, is just take on this huge project, the entertainment experience, haven't you? Can we have a little brief overview of what the entertainment experience is all Yeah, about? In, in a very abstract way I would say it's making a movie with uh, the help of the public, of the audience. That the audience there will be an initial, uh, let's say, a piece of writing by uh, that's already done by a, a dirt screenplay writer and we will write three minutes of the beginning of a story so the beginning of a story then the public is going to write the rest of the story which is then the, ne the next 90 minutes 90 percent okay. and the audience is all also going to make movies uh, of what has been written okay. and so there is an enormous participation of the audience and ultimately they will direct me through their scripts and through their visualizations, their films, to make a movie use, using all their information, everything they have invented, everything that I like, everything that is standing out, that I will make a remake their movies in some way or make my own movie of 30 minutes, eight times three minutes, something like that. They will, I'll make that using their scripts using their visualizations, their little films, and make, let's say, my own, in this case then, fully professional movie. Now, um, obviously this is 3D focused TV, so I'd like to get your thoughts on 3D. This won't be 3D, I can imagine that'd be even more trouble having to train everybody to film right. in 3D, but it seems to polarize directors, uh, the 3D concept, and obviously you've got such a portfolio of big films. First of all, what are your general thoughts? I mean, is, would you consider your next big film in 3D? I think that? that depends on the project for me. I think there are projects that, that ask, now that we can do it, ask for 3D. And it has a lot to do with depth, of course, with being above or below things at the distance of different uh, 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 long shots where there are different layers of uh, close and further away. And I think um, if you look at Avatar, which was then the, the breakthrough, isn't it? Then you see that um, what works so well there is mostly being above a bird or this dragon and looking down, isn't it? Yeah. That yeah. thing that we always that we have seen in many movies like Vertical Limit or whatever, they're, uh, they're hanging on a rock, but, but then it's 2D. Now with the 3D, you really feel more that you are above something and looking in depths, and uh, it could be anywhere, or in the, or in the distance. And some movies might, will be helped by that, will get more entertaining, if you use that word, will be more spectacular. Other movies, you might ask, on the waterfront, for example, if you would do that in 3D, I don't think you will m gain that much, you know. I mean, it's not for nothing that, that Cameron used, let's say, a certain kind of story with dragons flying dragons to make his first 3D movie, you know, because he knew, would know, he knew that there, basically, the, the, the concept would work enormously uh, to his advantage because he could then suggest depths or depths uh, downstairs, uh, let's say uh, looking down or looking in the distance with mountains or whatever. Um, so I think you have to be careful that you are not pushing the 3D, in my opinion, extravagantly when it is a normal drama. Okay. Now there is, two, there is another way of looking at it, and basically, but it has not been done yet so much. Uh, people have been so busy with, with uh, let's say, uh, um, surprising the, 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 the public with their 3D possibilities. There is, might be a way to do 3D in a very unobvious way, in a, in a very simple way, that you are not pushing it so hard, that you're not continuously saying 3D, 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 that it is so normal, that it is so simple, that you just don't, uh, you just feel it a bit, but you're not continuously aware. You know, your, your films, Robocop, Total Recall, Hollow Man, these are the big films. Would you uh, I think the, see any of those converted? Would you, would you, would you, or do you think that would be a horrible thing to happen? I think all science fiction could be converted. Really? Okay. Yeah, because there's so much visuals and it's so much about, uh, uh, let's say, uh, spectacle, if you want to, that, um, that I think you can do that. and. 
as I said, you know, it, 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 science fiction has to do with worlds that you don't know yeah. and, and worlds that you create, like an avatar he did. Exactly. And then I think it's fine to do that. We all know that basically when Hitchcock was doing uh, Dial M for Murder, he shot it in, in uh, 3D. Right, okay. By the time, by the time that the film came out, the 3D uh, appetite was gone. Right. Still with the red and the green glasses. Yes. Yeah. And so he ultimately decided basically to release it basically in 2D. Right. Because there was no, there was no reason anymore. People were already aboard. Sure. So I, d I doubt with the system that was developed by Cameron and others. I doubt because it's so much better. I doubt if that will be the case, but I think it has to be done. Um, I think if it will continue, if we want to continue this to, to be part of our um, um, art, um, I think it has to be done in a, in a less obvious way. So you don't feel, um, as a director though, because a lot of people are saying, well, you're forcing people to wear glasses, uh, it slightly darkens the screen, like Chris Nolan well, they, they will solve that, uh, you know. They'll solve that, but I mean, I know that Robocop remake and Total Recall remake, it looks like they will be 2D, so do you think there's already a slight, I mean, look at the box office figures, have gone down now. Uh, yeah, they? yeah, sure, so I, so I, that I cannot predict, but yeah, I, I had the feeling that, that if we do it in the right way, that at a certain moment, it could be as normal as color. Okay. I mean, you said just that uh, you love the unknown, that's why you're involved with this. So I just wanted to know, uh, would you be interested in, in exploring 3D or would that be entirely up to the studios or, you know, would you, would you embrace the challenge of 3D? I mean, Michael yeah, Bay sure, like said it was a nightmare this challenge. to film. Yeah, yeah. I, we, I was working with, uh, with uh, a game inventor. Um, in uh, Jordan Mechner, who did, uh, who also uh, provided the background story of the Prince of Persia, that was a game originally, and he wrote another game, which was the um, uh, the Last Express, which is situated in 1914, and uh, he just called me that there was an enormous interest in his script now because of the 3D possibilities. Okay. It's on a train, and so the, being on a train and being like like to, it's about the Orient Express, right. um, being on the train I, I, and, sing, and being in 3D without pushing the 3D but the fact that you will be more there. I have now seen several movies that were 3D is afterwards after the fact isn't it they shoot it in 2D yeah, yeah. and that's not as good you know Cameron basically did the right thing he did it really from the beginning really difficult I mean, yeah. had to find to uh, solve a lot of problems but he did it and he did it uh, he, he did it so as it has to be done yes. and I think if you do Robocop I, I'm not so sure that a, a three-dimensionalization will be helping the story. No, it's because I, it was a quite I, a personal story, I guess. Yeah, so something I, like Recall, maybe. Yeah, or with the, yeah, that's a bit more spectacular, or whatever. Yeah. Um, no, I think I mean the quality. And even Starship Troopers could, could well have been 3D. Of insects coming towards you and the depths and all these. I mean, I think that would uh, here's the here's the uh, compound and standing here and shooting and this. And the, appro the approaching of the, all these insects would be much more dynamic yes, and yeah. would give you more of a threat and you would be more there. I mean, uh, if I would shoot Robocop, uh, uh, Starship Troopers, especially something like Star Starship Troopers now, I would probably say, let's do it in 3D. Really? Yeah. yeah. Unless the studios is or, uh, would say, oh, I'll forget about 3D. Yeah, nobody, nobody wants that, nobody, <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to us. It's more expensive. I'll say Why, 2010. Nobody, the, the, the expenses are so much higher well, that yeah. it's not worth doing it. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just got from, uh, from uh, through this experience, I just got a 3D camera. A uh, cell phone is a 3D. Oh, the, the old Optimus yeah, the TZ thing. or yeah, whatever it's called. It's, pretty, it's the same as this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right, it's right, pretty right. funky, isn't right. it? Actually? I, haven't, I mean, I, I, yeah, I, haven't, I haven't used it because I don't know how to use it yet. But, uh, but uh, I'm still no, a bit clever. I always show everybody a lot if I, you know, so yeah, I'm yeah. trying to see this. Yeah. But, but it's without glasses, isn't it? You That's can see it. Yeah, it's yeah. so clever. Right? Yeah. Well, this is great. Well, um, the, it's the ent it's entertainmentexperience.nl but it's on the screen right now. That's basically your job for the next six months, isn't it? Right. So you're going to be yeah. really busy and then uh, looking And then I'll jump back into movie making. Movie making. A uh, little um, normal, uh, let's say, old-fashioned movie making. <laughs> I'm going to make an old-fashioned movie. Probably the one that I have in mind is probably 2D. <laughs>